village of Owego Memorial Day observations began with a parade led by local veterans. All four branches of the military were represented by current and former soldiers. People decked out in patriotic colors lined the streets to take in the sights and the sounds. Live music came courtesy of the Owego Free Academy Parade Band. There were also flag teams and a rifle salute. The march wrapped up at the Tioga County Veterans Memorial, where the community gathers each year to honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice for their country. Our Carrie Longabuco spoke to family members of local soldiers about how they keep the legacy of their loved ones alive. I myself, it's something I probably could never have had the nerve or the courage to do, but he did. Barbara Bilbray's son Charles was just 21 when he was killed in combat. He grew up knowing he would serve his country. My father took him to West Point when he was 12, and he said, this is what I want to do, and he had signed the enlistment papers the year before he graduated high school. Charles, who died in Iraq in 2007, is listed on this monument, along with 169 other fallen soldiers from from Tioga County. The day he died during battle was a day his mother prayed would never come, but one they had prepared for. Before deploying, Charles left his mother with his final wishes. This is what I want. This is how I want my funeral. This is how I want this and that. He was fully prepared. It was the hardest discussion you ever have to have with your 20 year old kid. Bill Bray and other community members shared stories about their fallen heroes. One teen paused to remember her uncle, who was 22 when he died in Normandy. We always, you know, think about him. I talked to my grandfather, who, you know, remembers him from when he was a child, and we were going through pictures the other day of him. Another one of my friends, uh, he got shot in the leg, and then another one got shot in the shoulder, and that's when I told myself when I turned 17 in 45, I said, I'm not going to wait for them to draft me. I'm going. When you enlist, you know the, the risks you take that it could, you could be giving your life for your country. Honoring those who laid down their lives for our liberty. In Owego, Carrie Longabuco, WBNGTV Action News. This year was the 124th Memorial Day ceremony held in the village.